set it up again. Hello everyone. Perfect. Uh, we are in Windows uh, Walls right now, Windows Woods. And uh, we are heading back to Port Windows to grab the book to the Toramai Canal. No, wait, home point to Toramai Canal. Never mind, we're just gonna grab the, tor the home point. Um, and we are gonna complete mission 9 1 in our preparation to uh, basically complete the Windows storyline. Damn. Travel to another home point. We are going to. Saruta Baruta Tore my canal. 1.1. I don't think there's more than one home point in Saruta Baruta though. Or in Tore my canal. In all of Saruta Baruta. In all of Saruta Baruta. There's one in Gideas, I guess. Alright. So once you spawn, you should be able to just run forward. And it should take you into the whole full moon fountain. Apparently, that's true. and dark I thought perhaps the stars in the moon might have returned to the fountain nothing has changed Samia Lafina I thank you for bringing me here I never thought I would be able to stand in this place again Star Sybil that day 20 years ago from that day forward I honestly believed that I would never return to the full moon fountain again place of Karaha Baroha's death, a place enveloped in frigid darkness. I felt that winters would share the same fate as this fountain, a bleak future of eternal night. I turned my eyes from the darkness and pretended it didn't exist. I ceased to look for the future of winters, the future of our people. In a world without that guiding light, my fear of the darkness froze my feet upon the path. Star Sybil, you mustn't be so harsh on yourself. Perhaps you have forgotten that your guidance has allowed Winters to exist in peace these past 20 years. To the citizens of Winters, you are the light that shines in the darkness. You are their guiding star. Simi Lafina, thank you. The gentle strength of the Sybil Guards has always been there to hold me steady. For your sake as well as mine, we must understand our situation. We must discover where we stand and what lies out there before us. Yes, that is the kind of determ determination you need. Joker! I have been waiting, Star Sybil. Waiting for you to return to this fountain. You. It can't be. What do you mean to do? It seems you still recognize me, though my form has changed. However, you have nothing to fear. I have not come to seek vengeance for past wrongs. And do not be concerned for the Mithra. They have not been harmed. I have come to tell you the star of hope that you have called forth. I must tell you of the all of the star that has set into motion upon Vanadiel. Star of hope I called forth? 
Remember, Star Sybil, you have followed the epic prophecy from the age of the first Star Sybil to the day that I greeted the Spectre of Death. That prophecy began with the fervent wish of the original Star Sybil and the moon reading which she performed. In the same way that you entrusted your wish to the stars and the moon that bathed this land in their power. Yes, I remember I made a wish to the star spring. I could stand my grief no longer. I wished for the help of Karaha Baruha dead these long years. Yes, that wish. That wish reached the faint amount of power that remained in the stars and the moon. And then, with the strains of magic that bind us together, Karara Barua and I returned from dark, Death's Dark Hall. You should be surprised, Star Sybil. Your hope, your wish, will aid in the restoration of the power of the stars and the moon, and bring us closer to the moment we have been waiting for. However, for things to be set in motion, I need you to wish alongside me. Y you mean... Star Sybil! You? It seems your star of hope has already arrived. That brilliance incandescence has shown us through several crossroads. I speak to you now, star of hope. Here I will await your final illumination. Lead the darkened soul to this place of the stars and moon once more. A time for miracles is upon us. Okay. That's it. We may leave. Mm -hmm. And go turn in crystals. Maybe it depends on how many. Uh, you need like ninety percent of the bar. It said so. Damn. Yeah, mine's like at like eighty eighty percent. So I'm turning some crystals. Uh, whole bunch right behind us. Mine's not even close to that. Oh, I turned in a whole bunch of extra crystals. Remember? What a jerk. I right, got a home point two windows wood port windows. All right, everyone. This is going to be the final mission of Windurst. Pretty excited about this as we uh, have only one story to go after this. that enough? Uh, it should be. I'm gonna find out. This crystal should be called Moon Reading. Or this quest should be called Moon Reading. Yep, I have it. So when you are ready, come on over and we will do it. So you said like 80%? 90. As long as you have the quest moon reading, we should be okay. Yeah. Alright. Accept this mission? Yes. Your mission today is from Heaven's Tower. I have the mission statement with your name on it right over here. The Yagudo have sent you a proposal demanding a revision of the priest treaty. You should make your way over to Heaven's Tower immediately. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have the Star Sybil's emblem on it. Did you just forget, I wonder? Alright, back to the tower. Hello. 
Uh, so, Kotaku put out an article about the five, top five best guns in Destiny. And the joke, right, the thing right now is that people are like saying that this one gun is like super overpowered. Mm -hmm. And so the top five guns in Destiny are all that gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Have you seen that article, Hell Dog? It's funny. Mita? Is that the gun? Yeah, the Mita multi tool. Alright, come to Heaven's Tower. I am. You've only done the quest once so far for the Mita. I'm gonna talk to Good Pippi. On FF14, what level am I on? What about FF14? My dad just asked me for some reason. Oh. I can't get the Star Sable signature for orders that are issued from Heaven's Tower! Extremely important documents need to be processed! Please help the Star Sybil! Alright, so there's only one part of this mission that's really going to be difficult for us, and I say difficult in the sense that we have to hunt something specific, but... Um... Yeah. And it's in a place that we both really, really love. Tavoy! No. Sanctuary of Zeta. No. Castle Astrosia. No. Sandoria. What? No. King Rampir's Tomb. Okay, we haven't really done anything in King Rampir's Tomb since uh, Sandoria's missions. Uh... I don't know. It's a pretty ugly place. I don't know. It's a pretty pretty ugly temple. Oh, Temple of Ugliapai. <laughs> hey, look. She's got a Palpu fruit symbol over there. Huh? And you don't play Kingdom Hearts, I forgot. It's just a star. Yeah, looks like a pow poo for it. Don't tell me what to believe. I'll tell you exactly what to breathe. Hmm. Miro. You've received the mission briefing. The situation has become volatile. The Yagado are screaming that Windhurst has broken one of the clauses in the Peace Treaty. There is a passage in the Peace Treaty that states that Central Magic Tower in West Saruta Bruta shall not be reactivated without the prior agreement of both parties. Apparently it did not escape the beady eyes of the Yagado when Ajido Marujido awoke the tower using the mana orbs. Now they're demanding we give them control of the Horutoto ruins to make amends for our break in faith. It's obvious those feather devils want to establish a base right under Winter's nose. But it'll be a cold day in Kazam before I ever let something like that happen. In any event, the rescuer of the Star Sybil comes first and foremost. Let us go and meet with Ajido Marujido. Bravely second is the best Final Fantasy, says Dashies. I mean, technically, it's a square game. 
It's a Final Fantasy without the Final Fantasy. Semi-Lafina. Apuru, if you're here, then you must have... Yes, I heard from my dear brother of the fate that has befallen the Star Sybil. The Manusteri is responsible for all of this. I must apologize to you, Semi-Lafina, to the Star Sybil, to everyone. Raise your head, Apuruu. This is not your fault. I was the one who took the Star Sybil down to the Full Moon Fountain while unknown terrors stalked the shadows. I accept full responsibility. Semiolafina. That terror is not unknown to us. The Bearer of Darkness is most likely the resurrected Gara Barua. What are you saying? The research left here was extremely thorough, a perfect theory that per surpassed all other systems of magic to stand in at the pinnacle of achievement. Karura Barua succeeded in his complete summoning and dominated the will of the great beast Fenrir. However, that spirit was too vast for any one person's body to contain. The energy is too intense. Fenrir was dragged into the abyss of death along with Karura Barua. And now, the deceased have returned. The Bear of Darkness is an incarnation that contains the spirit of both Karurabura and the Great Beast. A shared existence. And that is why the Joker has taken control of the Full Moon Fountain. But why hold the Star Sybil captive? Neomorph59000, thank you very much for the host. For revenge? If, as you say, part of the Bearer of Darkness is the Great Beast, it must blame the Star Sybil for its death. Was it hate for the Star Sybil what brought it to Heaven's Tower? Of that, we cannot terribly be certain. When Joker's wish is fulfilled and the Bearer of the Darkness returns to the Full Moon Fountain, there is no telling what will happen. However, to keep the Star Sybil from harm, we must do as Joker requests. But how? There is no way we can force the Bearer of Darkness to return to the Fountain. It comes and goes in the blink of an eye, and our attacks are completely ineffective against it. Leave that to me. There is one method of luring the part of that is Fenrir back to the Full Moon Fountain. This method entails using the Song of the Ancient Kulu that is mentioned in the Book of the Gods. Kulu had apparently forged a pact with the avatars. The three verses of the song are kept in three separate runes. Miro, we need you to travel to Romave, the Chamber of the Oracles, and the Temple of Uglape to collect the, those verses. I don't know, don't know what the form they will take, but they should at least be recognizable as a legacy for left for succeeding generations. Semilafina, go to the chieftainess Perai Vashai and explain the, the situation. If something should happen to the Star Sybil, the Tower Tower will be completely lost or lose their marbles, not to mention their will to fight. And then you can bet the Yagara will choose that exact moment to attack. Windows will be annihilated before you can spit out a deranged, drooling Dommels. The Mithra must be ready to take the front line in such a battle. Your strength and prowess will be sorely needed, Semilafina. I understand. I will confer with Chieftainess Peri of Ashai and prepare for a Yagudo attack. But do your utmost to make sure that such an attack doesn't happen, Minister Ajido Marujido. And last early, Apuru, we were talking about the possibility of disabling the Cardians. Can it really be done? Yes, I believe it can. If the mana orbs within the Cardians are struck with a strong enough blasty wast of the stars and the moon, their motive systems will be disrupted. This disruption will only last a short while, but during that time they will be completely doozy woozy and unable to act. A sliver river of time in which to rescue the Star Sybil. But where did we find such a source of power, and will you be capable of wielding it? 
Don't worry about me, dear brother. I learned a few new things while you were lost here to us. <laughs> Ta a few black arts by a certain Tatar is more like it. No, nothing like that. Rightiru, I must be going. Shit, Toto. Don't go hurting yourself, Apururu. Something just doesn't make sense. How could a Kerber, how could a genius like you not realize the art of complete summoning would rob you of your life? It says he isn't Uchiha mattering it. But if. But if you had foreseen that outcome, what if you had predicted this entire scenario? Alright, so now we have to go to Romave. So we've got to go to the book. Okay, so uh, you guys were talking during the, the stream there, which is fine. Um, but I want to address some things. Dashy says that uh, Bravely Default is considered a Final Fantasy game. And for the purpose of the fact that it is basically Final Fantasy without the Final Fantasy, you are correct. Uh, if you notice, they also include Vagrant's story on the Final Fantasy wiki. Um, it is the spiritual successor of Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light, but it's also more than just a spiritual successor. Because if you've played Final Fantasy IV Hero Light, you'll know that a lot of the monster models that are in that appear in Bravely Default. A lot of the bosses uh, show up as balls in the first game. Um, and are really, really strong. And, spoilers for anybody who has been, uh, I'll put a spoiler warning here. If you haven't played Bravery Default, I already did on stream, so I'm okay with saying this. But, if you remove the FF from Flying Fairy, you get a spoiler for the first game. Nah. Alright, so we're going to uh, Port Windurst. Because the um, the second game is End Lair, whereas the uh, first game is uh, Flying Fairy. And if you take the Final Fantasy or the FF out of it, it becomes uh, a key plot point for the game. Which is kind of, which is a rather interesting idea for uh, how they chose to do that. Alright. Which, um, Dashy, I actually played Four Heroes of Light on stream. That game was fucking hard. Maybe <laughs> Second Sending has made you cry so many times. I really like Bravely Second. Um, playing Bravely Default on stream was a ton of fun. I um, when I first started streaming, I had set it up so that I would play through all the Final Fantasies in order, and I didn't wasn't sure if I would uh, when I would get to Bravely Default, but I was really excited to do so right from the start. We're going to Lita Lore Romave, but it was always my goal to start or to do Bravely Default on stream after the Final Fantasies, and I was really excited to do so. It ended up going pretty well. I uh, got lucky with dice rolls. Right now I get some people who come into stream and uh, they get really confused by my choices of jobs, and it's like, I didn't pick them. The the, uh, the dice did. Alright, so we just gotta click on the uh, Koo House ring here. This place is Silly's favorite place. Yeah. Should get a cutscene. A haunted song suddenly echoes throughout the ruins.
Nice. Excellent. Agent Verse of Romave. Alright, next place we're going is... Chamber of the Oracles. We should actually have a home point to the Chamber of the Oracles. Uh, although it might be a book. So let's check the book here. It's supposed to be in Old Tepa Desert. Or around that area. So check uh, Kuzans. No, that's Eastern and Rabao. Uh, okay, let's go back to um, Winders and uh, we'll check the uh, home point because we should have a home point near there. The Temple of Uglape will be the longest one because I'm not sure if we have anything nearby. Um, and we need an Uglape key from Tomberry Cutters. Okay, so. Pretty sure we hit this one. Quicksand caves. Okay, let me, before we pick here, I'm just gonna hit the Chamber of Oracles. And it's in the quicksand caves, apparently. So, the home point that we need is. Western Alt type of desert. Western Alt type of desert. Chamber of the Oracles. Okay, that would be. Home point. I think home point one is the one we want, Silly. Point one? Yeah. So it's been a very long time since we were in the uh, quicksand caves for real. Not having to navigate this is a good thing. Alright, so we should really just run out past that torch. That rock Dang. torch. And we should get a cutscene. Haunting sun suddenly echoes through the horns. Hmm, this sounds like certain chains of Promathia music. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, we just played, uh, played the uh, Song of the Gods again. <laughs> We just ushered in the end of the world. Nice. There's no map for this area. Alright. Wait, am I going in? Turn around, go back this way. Alright, so there's a possibility we may still have an Ula Ugella pick. Hey. Um, check your cases and your bags, because that will save us a lot of time if we already have one. I'm not sure if it gets used up or not, like that key, the other key we had. So, slash case. I didn't throw away a lot of my keys, so. We need a Ooglepe key? Like yeah. a chest key, or what? It's just called Ooglepe key. It's not chest or coffer or anything like that. Uh, I got a judgment key. <laughs> That's not good. Sea lion crest key. Okay. 
Okay, it's not there. I'm gonna have to go check my mod guys. So I'm going to Winter's Walls, 1.2. There's a chance that one or one of the two of us might have it, so I'm not entirely certain that it, it is consumed or not, so. I have a Wami and Fang key. Yeah. <sighs> That's for the Serpent Sea Grotto. <laughs> Pretty sure we needed that for Chains of Romania. Maybe Rise of the Zillard. One or two. Alright, welcome to my Mog House. Okay. Mog safe. Let's see. Tonko Ni. Oh, I have some more Bard songs, apparently. What songs do you have? Uh, Shining Fantasia, Gold Capriccio, uh, and Goddess Hymnus. What was the Goddess one? Uh, I don't know. Grants re raised the party members within the effect. I'll just give you these songs. Some more Earth Crystals. Oh, Fire 3. Interesting. Kiraga 3, Fireaga 3. Alright, so I don't see any in that one. I don't think I put anything in storage. Mog locker? I never rented a mog locker. Sack case, wardrobe. I'd rather be in the wardrobe because it's a key. Alright, so I definitely don't have an Oogalope key. I tried. I tried, everyone. It's worth a shot. Anyway, I'll give you those songs. Alright, so you don't have anything in yours either? Don't think so. I have to check last thing. I went out instead of going into <laughs> It's weird. I went to a place that was supposed to have the mock yeah, I went to. Alright, so once the silly checks those, we will figure out where Tomberry cutters are. I shall do that now. Just in case. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Potentially save us some time, and I'm gonna go check Port Sandoria real quick. Okay, Tomberry Cutters are all over the fucking place, so... There's a ton of them. 38 of them in the area, but... May not need to worry about that. Might be able to get one from this dude. Okay, let's see. Lots of chest keys. I don't really care about chest keys or coffer keys. Damn, all you give is coffer and chest keys? You suck. I hope you have an Ooglope key for me. Alright. Let's go to... Winders, wall, Port Winders, 1.2. I will meet you by the book in case you don't have... Or even if you have a key, but... Oh, I got some gill. 40,000 gill. Awesome! And 20... Yeah, 40,000 total. So how's it looking, Noki? I don't think so. It's nothing. Cool. Alright. Well, we're gonna go to uh, the book and teleport to Yorta Jungle, which I believe is in Alshimo Up? What? No, I wanna talk to Shikaru. Hell dog asked you something. Elshimo up, Yotar jungle, yeah. 
I was actually going to the Temple of Oogla play, but I don't know if that's going to be the right entrance, so let's just go in through the Yorta jungle. Alright, I will wait for you. Yoator? You want a Yoator? Yep. The book this to guy, Yoator. This guy here named Superbard. Alright, so it says... Use the Temple of Oogla play entrance at J12. Which should be directly down from us. Gives us a chance to mount up as well. So for those of you who watch FF11 but didn't know that mounts are in the game. Time for me to crab it up. Listen to the greatest mount music ever created. <laughs> Tom Berry Harasser. El up. Oh, the value app on your phone. Damn phones, they can do everything. We gotta head down here. I don't know if we gotta go into the cave or not, but uh, head to the entrance at J12, and then we're gonna kill some uh, Tomberry Cutters to get a Temple of Ooglapeki. to the correct area. I remember exploring this area back in the day. Level in here. Oogla play was the worst. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait, actually, it's not a big deal. I was going to say, after we complete the Winhurst like, storylines, you can actually expand your mod cast to two floors by doing three quest lines and then you can gain access to mod safe two which has the same amount of storage as mod safe one interesting so 50 more slots That's and kind of cool then the second floor is like bigger than the first floor and has no moogle in it so you can put more stuff huh So, are there Tomberry Cutters on this floor? Yes, there are. Alright, so, we should hope for the best here. And get a Tomberry Ooglabakey. Cutter. Oh, that's right, these fuckers got shadows. Why do you get four shadows? So unfair. Alright, I'm gonna summon uh, Cordelia. So I don't know if we need more than one key, so it doesn't say. Probably because it starts a cutscene. Flask of vitriol. Alright, so we're gonna summon Cordelia and Ulmia because they give us haste buffs. What's going on in here? Or Cornelia, not Cordelia. What's going on where? This guy is uh, impossible to gauge. Oh. Someone summon a boss. Seems dangerous. T 
Tomberry Cutters, is that? Yep. Tomberry Cutters. See you later, Helldog. Thanks for stopping by today. Nothing from that one. Curl leather missive. That's not what I want. Let's see, are there any down there? Yes, there are. Okay, good. There's a whole bunch down there, apparently. So this is going to be the least fun part of the stream, is us having to hunt for a damn key. Two damn keys. Just says they don't spawn in any of the rooms except for... This one here on our right, there's some in. Oh, look at that. Forty gill. Should be some in this room up here too. Not all the way around this area. I don't want for a tomberry color. Back here. I was able to reach him. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. Down here, you fucker. Curl leather misses have a 4.8% drop rate, whereas the Ooglapaki is like a 9.9% .9 drop rate. And we've gotten two of the curl leather misses. Nice. And Got zero us. keys. We are probably the best. It's true. Alright. Summon this room up here. Oh, there's one. Fighting them is annoying though, because they got the stupid shadows, and then Miro fucking just like cuts through their shadows by punching the crap out of them. I don't think there's any more in the room. Don't think so either. Branding iron. Alright. Well, that's too bad. Our luck is not is not high with these ones. <clears throat> but there's still more rooms that these can spawn. This place is rude though. Is there anybody who's viewing that actually really liked this temple? <laughs> I'm not entirely certain there's anybody who exists who actually likes the Temple of Google Play. Kicked him in the face and he died. Alright, well. They're not being nice with these keys, that's for sure. Monty Shuriken. Let's see, drop rate of that is 6%. Apparently. <sighs> Statistically, these things should be dropping them one in every ten. Yeah, oh. They 
They are not doing that though. They are not abiding by that at all. Alright, so. There's a little bunch more in another part of the Temple of Google Play, but I don't remember how to get there. Epic Taco. I'm not also not entirely certain that the ones here didn't just respawn, but let's just go up to the next part of the map anyway. I think we gotta be in map two as it is, so. Like I said, this was gonna be the worst part. Yeah. I've only moved forward a little bit, so. At least the other verses were easy to get. The Quicksand Cave one could have been, but I, for, I remembered later on that we have the home point to the Oracle, the uh, Chamber of Oracles, so. Which way we were supposed to go? If it was up or down the stairs? I think it may have been down the stairs. Yeah. What? That seriously just aggro me? Alright. Be very careful. Everyone's grudge could kill us. <laughs> we found the Tom Berries we've killed. This looks promising. <laughs> All right, we are in. Oh, good, we're on the map with the, with the Tom Bears. Yeah, there's a Tom Bear cutter right there. All right, Mr. Tom Bear cutter, give us. Our key. Also, stop having shadows. It makes it annoying to fight you. That's not a key. It's not a key at all. This is usually where Ogami would show up or Anime Gamer and just give us the key. Oh, uh, I got one. Excellent. Okay, so go into it. Wait, no, I want to do that. All right, okay, treasure. Make sure you have more space, actually. Okay, I do. All right, so go into treasure and hit roll on it. And whoever gets it gets it. All right, so I have a really good chance of winning that. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> Nine oh. eight, eight, seven. <laughs> All right. Tacos so... here. Epic taco. Oh, hello, epic taco. Yusuf, hello. Doku Mori ni. Okay, that's not it. Uh, okay, so this one only has Tomberry Cutters in, I believe, this room here. Yeah, there's one. 
And I think I'm going forward and turn left at the end of the hall. Oh wait, this is the key that we need the, the door we need the uh, a grand key for. Mm -hmm. Can't pass that an ooglepay key for. So that sucks. Good thing I didn't accidentally uh, use it. Don't worry, there's still lots more uh, Tom Berries uh, on this map apparently. All right, and this way. Just need to get lucky and get one more. A Torama. Stalker Cutter. It seems you have better luck with the keys today. <laughs> At Tom Berry Lantern. You, however, do not have good luck with doors. That's correct. <laughs> There's another cutter just to your right. Nothing. Alright. Let me go back here. Okay. Blah. Oh, hang on. Uh, never mind. We only need the one key. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it'll open it for a few seconds for anyone to pass. Okay. So I gotta make sure I'm at the right, uh, we go to the right door though. Alright, so from the main entrance, uh, blah blah. Dark Matter 3, what the fuck is Dark Matter 3? Head to EA where you'll find a granite door. This is map two that we're on now, I'm pretty sure. E8 is over there. Okay, so that should be the right one. Hello, Mira. Hey, how you going? Uh, how you doing, Yusuf? Silly told us that you are uh, an expert at Final Fantasy XI lately. He says that you went through and beat every story mission before us. Now I ask you, why do you do this? Why do you do this thing? That's a good question. Still sleepy. What time did you get up? All right, we're going to trade it so you need to be ready to run through. I'm ready. Okay, go. Alright, so it says, once through the door can be opened from the inside with a key, check the, at the top of the stairs between the four bookshelves. That's what I'm looking for, a question mark right here. Something lies under the rubble. Let's save some time. 
A haunting silence only echoes throughout the ruins. You slept 15 hours, Yusuf? That's insane. Alright, use your warp ring. Okay. Now we gotta go back to the star, uh, the Heaven's Tower. But I'm gonna reset this recording. <laughs>